In lesson 5.1, you multiplied binomials using algebra tiles. The strategy was to represent one binomial horizontally and one vertically, and then complete a rectangle of those dimensions, where the inner rectangle represents the product. This suggests that you can use algebra tiles to reverse the process and factor trinomials. If you can represent a trinomial as a rectangle, its length and width will represent the factors of that trinomial. Let's look at an example in more detail. Factor 6x squared plus 3x minus 3. We begin by representing this trinomial using algebra tiles. Our goal is to rearrange these tiles into a rectangle. Let's look at a completed rectangle representing a different trinomial on its factors, so we have a pattern to follow. A factorable trinomial can be represented using four smaller rectangles, each containing identical tiles. For just a moment, let's ignore the signs of the tiles. For every trinomial, one of the four rectangles is made up entirely of x squared tiles, two rectangles are made of x tiles, and the last rectangle is made up of ones. Rectangles beside one another share a common dimension. These two rectangles are each 2x long, these rectangles are each 4 wide, and so on. Right now the x squared tiles are in a 1 by 6 rectangle. Let's try moving the negative 1 tiles to the bottom right corner. Now, try moving the x tiles to make a rectangle. Hmm, this isn't looking good. Even if we introduce zero pairs of x tiles, we can't fill the bottom left rectangle with identical tiles and still have the entire rectangle represent the original trinomial. Let's start over. This time, let's use a 2 by 3 rectangle of x squared tiles. Move the negative ones to the bottom right corner. Now, use the x tiles to complete the rectangle. Hmm. So it doesn't look good either. How about changing the orientation of the negative 1 tiles? Again, try to use the x tiles to complete a rectangle. Mm, again, this looks like another failed attempt. Ah, I see something. We need 3x tiles here to complete the upper right rectangle. And we need 3x tiles here to complete the bottom left rectangle. This means we can introduce 0 pairs of x tiles to complete the entire rectangle. Remember that a zero pair is a positive and a negative tile pair of the same sign. Because they are equal to zero when added together, they can be added to an expression without changing its value. Here's one pair, a second pair, and a third pair. We now have a rectangle. You need to be careful when introducing zero pairs. Remember that each of the rectangles made of x tiles needs to contain all positive x tiles or all negative x tiles. Now that we have a rectangle, let's determine its dimensions. Let's start by putting a 3x along the top. For the x squared tile to be positive, we'll need to use a positive x tile on the left side of the diagram. Remember that a positive times a positive is a positive. The top binomial must also include positive 3. Again, I know it will be positive because a positive times a positive gives another positive. The last tile is negative 1. Here, a positive times a negative gives a negative and a positive times a negative gives a negative. Finally, we can use the length and width to state the factors. 6x squared plus 3x minus 3 is equal to 3x plus 3 times 2x minus 1. This is the end of the procedure. However, before moving on, let's take a step back and look at a possible alternative. If we began by putting negative 3x as part of the length instead of positive 3x, and then complete the process based on this decision, we would need to choose a width of negative 2x because a negative times a negative is a positive. And then again, we would need to choose a negative 3 for the remainder of the length because a negative times a negative is a positive. And finally, we would need a positive 1 for the remainder of the width because a negative times a positive is a negative. The result is another set of factors for the same trinomial. Notice that this is the same factorization we determined earlier with all the signs switched. Think about why these two factorizations multiply to the same trinomial. 